Hi everyone, it's Mickey from Hike and RV. So Gordon is taking a little break from this video. We've actually been laying low for the last few weeks. We've had some stuff going on here at home. So we haven't been traveling in our camper van, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about fall and winter camping in BC. A lot of people assume that most of the BC parks are closed, but actually there are quite a few open and it really depends on the region. So I just wanted to cover that with you today. So we hope you enjoy this video. I did a little bit of research into which parks are open in the fall in BC and I actually was surprised to find quite a few. Over the winter months the very few BC parks that are open for camping are located really more in the southwest corner of BC where the temperatures are milder. So before we get into which campgrounds are open, I just wanted to make sure that you note a few things. First of all, we have encountered situations where if the temperature goes below freezing or if it snows a lot, they might just preemptively close the parks early. The second thing I wanted to note is that the information was current in, on the BC Parks website, but of course it's all subject to change and you should check the website before you head out. And of course, obviously check the weather first. For many popular campgrounds, you are able to reserve a site up to the day before closing. And if it's a weekend, long weekend, you might not necessarily be able to reserve a site. If you're looking for first come first serve sites, you might want to try to schedule going to the campground, maybe uh, on Sunday night or midweek, just to avoid that situation. We found sometimes that even if a campground is open, there are certain sections of the campground that are closed. Maybe if there's like four loops, there might be only one loop open. Okay, so now I'll just go through region by region to talk about which campsites are open. And what I'll do is put a comprehensive list in the description below if you need to refer to it. So first of all, we'll talk about the campgrounds that are open into October and I'll give you some of the dates as well. So starting with the Kootenai region, I noticed that there was only one campground open. It's the Kootenai Lake campground and they're open until October 31st this year. So in the Lower Mainland region, again, Lower Mainland is in the vicinity of Vancouver, east to the Fraser Valley and north to Whistler. Campgrounds that are open until around mid-October, Sasquatch, which is in the Harrison Hot Springs area. Another one is Emory Creek, which is north of Hope, and they are open until October 16th. In the Fraser Valley, Chilliwack Lake is open until October 16th, and Cultus Lake until November 15th. Another area that's included in the Lower Mainland is the Sunshine Coast. Only accessible by ferry, open till October 15th, is Porpoise Bay, four kilometers north of Seashelt. In the Sea to Sky area, Alice Lake is open until October 31st, and it's one of the popular campgrounds. So reservations are available until October 30th, and they actually have powered sites there. So the next region is the Okanagan region. I was surprised and happy to find that there were quite a few campgrounds that are open in the Okanagan. In the Vernon area, Ellison, Fintry, and Maple Lake are open until October 10th, and Kakuli Bay is open until October 24th. In the southern central Okanagan, Bear Creek, which is 9 kilometers from Kelowna, is open until October 17th. Okanagan Lake and Okanagan Falls are open until October 10th. Basu Lake is open until October 31st. Swiwis, also known as Haynes Point in Osoyoos, is open until October 10th. So the Peace region in the north, which is, uh, I guess, covers sort of the Alaska Highway on the eastern side of northern BC. Only one campground that's open in October, and that's Liard River Hot Springs, which is open until October 10th. So in the Thompson region, there are quite a few campgrounds that are open until Thanksgiving, October 10th. Near Kamloops, there's Juniper Beach, Roche Lake, Steelhead, and Tunkwa. In the Thompson River and Shushwap area, there are a couple of campgrounds. That's Harold and Shushwap Lake. And one of the regions that have the most campgrounds that are open is Vancouver Island region. In Northern Vancouver Island, 
camp runs open still till Thanksgiving Day, October 10th, and that's Loveland Bay and Morton Lake. Now these ones have quite a bit of travel on gravel, so if you have a low clearance RV, you might have some difficulty getting into those areas. In Campbell River, Elk Falls is open until October 31st. Miracle Beach, which is between Courtney and Campbell River, is actually open until November 30th. And in central Vancouver Island, we have near Port Alberni, Sprout Lake is open until October 15th, and Stamp River is open until November 15th. Little Qualicum Falls is open until October 15th, and Rath Trevor Beach in Parksville is open until October 29th. So in the southern Vancouver Island area, French Beach west of Souk is open until October 29th, and Goldstream north of Victoria is open until October 29th as well. Now we'll get into the parks that are open all year. And again, the numbers are very few, but there's still opportunities to camp in the wintertime. First of all, the lower mainland area, there's three parks that are open all year round. Uh, one is Golden Ears near the community of Maple Ridge. Uh, the other one is Rowley Lake, which is near the community of Mission. And Porto Cove, located between Vancouver and Squamish on the Sea to Sky Highway. So in the Vancouver Island region, there are four campgrounds, BC Parks campgrounds that are open all year round. The first one is on Galliano Island, and I believe you have to take a couple of ferries to get there. And that is the Montague Harbor Marine Park. And then the last three are actually in Southern Vancouver Island. The first one is Bamberton, which is located 45 kilometers north of Victoria. Cowichan River, which is located north of Duncan and Gordon Bay, located 35 kilometers northwest of Duncan. So the last region that has a BC Parks campground open is the Okanagan, and the only park open for winter camping is EC Manning, which is about two and a half hours drive from Vancouver, and it's one of our favorite parks. If you watch our channel, you would have probably seen us visiting there quite often. According to the Manning Park website, there are three areas where you can camp in the winter months. One is the newest Skyview campground, and we've actually done a review of that campground. Skyview is great because it's a full service campground and they have a washroom building with flush toilets and showers that's open year round, which is very unusual. The second option at Manning Park is the Lone Duck campground. There are two group campsites during the summer months, but they are open for camping for individuals during the winter months. They have a warming shelter, which has a stove and picnic tables and pit toilets as well. So the third area where you can camp, if you have a self-contained unit, is at the Lightning Lakes Day Use parking lot. So we hope you found this information useful and hope you do get a chance to get out there because there are good camping opportunities still in the late fall and winter time. So if you're looking for some peace and quiet, it's a great time to go camping. So we hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And Gordon, Finch and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.